All right, Travis, you are <laughs> back for another episode. We are back with Travis Howell, the executive director with the Davison Area Chamber of Commerce. It must be that you have just come on board there at the chamber and you are just kicking out events left and right because I've got people lined up to talk, but it seems like you're front and center every time I look at what's happening in our community. So why don't you give me a rundown on what we have next on the docket for the Davison Area Chamber of Commerce? Oh, I love our community. Davison's a great place. We have residents that want to get involved, get out in our community, and the Davison Chamber wants to be part of that. And one of the exciting things that the Chamber is offering for the first time this year on May 6th, it's a Saturday, is a flip-flop 5K. It is a run walk for all ages. That's fantastic. So I want to say that I probably had a small part, at least in the naming conventions <laughs> of this year event, as I'm oh, lovingly yeah. referred to as the flip-flop agent. Yes, the flip-flop 5K is coming Saturday, May 6th. We were having a 5K run that's going to go between Abernathy Regional Park and like the Davison Township offices along that Black Creek Nature Trail. Is that correct? That is correct. Yes. So it is. So it's a run walk. So Anyone can come do it. It is. We're starting in Abernathy Regional Park, which is a huge area with lots of great things. And we have Black Creek Trail, which is a paved area. So starting in Abernathy, we're going to be going all the way to Davidson Township Hall and back. So not only do you get to enjoy seeing Abernathy Park, Lake Callis, but there's a nice, like, beautiful wooded area that that time of year is going to be looking amazing with blooming and everything growing and then get to spend time in both the city of Davidson and Davidson Township with just a whole b bunch of fun. It's really what it is. It's going to be a great event. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait. One thing I want to clarify, you're not required to wear flip-flops for this event. Is that accurate, Travis? That is accurate. The flip-flops are for the the brave and the ones looking for a brand new <laughs> adventure in a 5k run walk that's perfect so even <laughs> though i might be the only knucklehead that is wearing flip-flops during this event it's okay to wear tennis shoes it is tennis shoes are highly encouraged but flip-flops are apparently the way to go these days apparently <laughs> yeah so it is it's going to be a great event so we're doing a kids fun run starting at 9 30 a.m and then the 5K run walk will start at 10. So we are excited to offer everything for the family. Come out there with your kids. Come out there with your friends. This is a trail that everyone will be able to enjoy. It's not a demanding, hard course to do. It's about enjoying your community and just having fun with a flip-flop 5K. There you go. That's fantastic. All right. So to be clear, there will be runners that are going to take it seriously that are going to have their bibs on and they're going to have their running shorts and their tennis shoes and they're going to be out there rocking and rolling and we'll let them go first and then the rest of us <laughs> the rest of us goobers that are in our flip-flops or pushing a stroller or walking with our friends and family we can follow up behind them does that sound about right that's right but more props to someone who's running in flip-flops and wins the race in flip-flops there you go. Perfect. I might have to drink some <laughs> extra coffee that morning, but I heard we I do have somebody there that's going to be supplying some pretty doggone good coffee. Is that true? Yes. So a locally owned, I guess you call it a coffee truck called Bean Brain Coffee is going to be coming to set up. And I have had the chance to enjoy a lot of their products when they are around town. It's delicious. They have hot drinks, cold drinks. They have stuff for adults and kids. So yeah, it's this is just one of the first things that's coming to get everyone just enjoying the atmosphere of the race or even afterwards, finding a different way to cool down with your coffee. There you go. That sounds perfect. All right. I will definitely keep it marked on my calendar <laughs> Saturday, May 6th. And the festivities are going to kick off with the kid fun run at 930 and the 5k to follow afterwards. Yes. And we will be um, announcing soon the way to sign up. We're going to be using online signups, make it easy. You can do it from home in your flip flops at your house. But yeah, we're going <laughs> to we're going to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to get a chance to sign up for this race. That's fantastic. Travis, again, 
Huge shout out and huge props to you, the Davis Area Chamber of Commerce, for getting these events put together for the community. I'm looking forward to it. I know I'm going to be there helping out with the organization <laughs> and prepping myself both mentally and more so physically to run that 5K <laughs> in my flip-flops, man. So thank you so very much. Oh, Johnny, thank you for being part of it. We're excited about this. And hey, guys, remember to shop local and support local. Absolutely, Travis. Thank you so much, my friend. We'll talk to you soon. Hey, talk to you soon.